thinking about talking about the wind today. You see the wind is north, northwest today, kind of, this morning. We had a front that came through yesterday, some thunderstorms. That's what usually happens. And then the land starts to heat up. And you'll see in a little bit that the uh, wind will change to the southwest. Because the warm air will rise over the land and pull the relatively cool air over the ocean on shore. So let's see if that happens. There's the flag. I'm surprised it's still north. Actually, it's getting warm. North wind holding strong. Northwest, but I think that thing's off by an eighth of a turn. When I looked at my compass last year, it was. All right, the wind has changed a little bit westerly, and <laughs> flopping around a little bit. Looks like the wind's stopping. Okay, the wind's coming out of the southwest. I wasn't able to stay at the beach long enough for it to change. So this is very common. Like you'll see these clouds that are building up over the land. All these. And that's the heat rising over the land. And pulling in this cool air from the relatively cool ocean. It happens almost every summer day. Uh, to read a hive here in uh, at the mouth of the Narragansett Bay. I'm going to show you something else over here, the gust of the winds. We're just trolling for a few stripers here. Put a sea bass and a fluke earlier. You see how that, see, can you see that little dark spot right there? That's a gust of wind coming at us. As it gets closer there, there. So when you're sailing, you can see these gusts come over the water, especially when there's land in the fetch. It gathers over the lands. And uh, so you can usually get a nice lift when you're sailing. I can feel that breeze now hitting me a little breezier than it was, that gust. You can see some off in the distance there as they approach. It's kind of cool as you learn how uh, learn to watch the wind and, and see it on the water. You can see some gusts right in here, really close to us. And there's one. There's a nice one right there. You can see how the water is really sparkly right here. Here it comes. Might have even heard it on the uh, <laughs> on the sound. when we go way out we can get beyond what they call the convergent zone where it, this heating of the land is not affecting way out there so it won't, uh, it'll be really windy in here but we get way out offshore and there's no wind at all it's kind of cool there's another gush right here the wind. That's what it does 90% of the days around here anyway. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe.